button. Go over to here. Press. Let's nope, that's see. not it. This page. Grant. Press this Grant. button. Here we go. 60. There we go. 59. 58, the Slade and Mason Show. Yeah, Jesus. The Slade and Mason Show. 59, 48, 47, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 48, 49, 
Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, before uh, before we get too far into this, this is where I'm going to throw in for a loop because you got a mouthful of food. Mm. Why don't you do the disclaimer, man? Oh, good call. <laughs> No, uh, the Satan Mason show is all about you and us. It is like a radio program. Well, not really. <laughs> we're, we're, we share with you news stories and things we see throughout the week. It's our take on it. Basically, we see things you're thinking, but you would never hear in the radio because it would be the last thing you ever hear on the radio. <laughs> we're just having fun. Don't take it too seriously. Just enjoy all the music you listen to. Unless tell you, you otherwise is brought to you by Dano music, Dano music, because we're cheap. And as always, we're brought to you by IC something icy. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Instagram and uh, check out our wet, our picture there. It's from 2016. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoy what you're listening to, please, by all means, share it with your friends. Buy merch from us, um, which is at See, that's OLSW. What I'm doing every week. It's like I show them that merchandise page. It's like, and I make them want it. It's mm-hmm. like you know, you gotta want it. So there. yeah, yeah. You know how much we sold so far? How many? How many hundreds? All right, hold on. I go to the page. I go to the open. And I go the, to yeah, there. there. Yeah, that's what the money should just be rolling in. We'll be able to pay those YouTube fines. Uh, By the way, we got dinged again last week, didn't we? Oh yes, we did, baby. Oh yes, we did. All right, let me go. Analytics. Oh man, look at the listings here. We got. Oh wow, it's 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 amazing. It's at a dead heat from. It's the exact same numbers from last month. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so guys, keep it coming because. You know. Yeah, because like, we're gonna be doing this a lot. <laughs> Let's see if we can depend on the merchandise sales. Yeah. Let's see if we can move that zero point zero zero a little bit higher. Okay, okay. All right. Anyway, um, like, hey Ted, come on, man, help me out here. Look, he's it's already he's, he's already wearing like a complete uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh! All right, so what, you got your morning rant. Well, first, I'm going to sort of sidetrack it for a second before I get into the rant. <clears throat> um, you are not, you are far and away probably the absolute worst when it comes to knowledge about professional sports. What's, now, what I'm, sports? I'm gonna this down, <laughs> well, I'm going to break this one down for you. I'm That's gonna that talk section about I peel off and throw in the trash. League, Go ahead. The No Fun League, otherwise known as the NFL. Ba, 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 ba. Got him, put him, put him. All right, well, listen. This year, this year, while I'm sad because the Dallas Cowboys, they, they, they killed Washington in the last game of the season, but unfortunately, if they had played that way a couple of weeks earlier, the outcome would have been different because they would be the NFC champs and not the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, I have, I have, I have split loyalties because, you know, I spent many a year in the city of brotherly love. I was there the year during the Christmas parade that people booed Santa. I mean, I've been there when they've thrown things and batteries at baseball players on the field. Not the best fans in the world. But my heart is made gladdened because you know what is not going to happen this year? What's that, Mr. There is not going to be a New England Patriot, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, anywhere near the Super Bowl this year because they got their butts kicked yesterday. Um... No, Tom Brady. No, Tom Brady. All right, now, but listen, I do have, I do have, because uh, somebody in the ad agency world thought, ah, Philadelphia, you know, they really sucked at the beginning of the season, but now they're on the way to the Super Bowl. Is that good? You'll see. Eagles of Philadelphia. Well, I'm surprised to see you guys here. I thought it was all over. But even though the king is never wrong, it looks like I was wrong, which I never am. The injury gods threw mud at you, but the perseverance gods wiped you off and patted your behind. Now all you need is Lady Luck and Lord Victory to smile upon thee, and the championship will be thine. So for you, I'll say it only once. Philly, Philly! (laughs) Philly, Philly, 
I, I, I take it. I take it. We're in. We're in uh, football season. Well, we're coming down to the end of football season because oh. uh, let's see here. We're now into the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the this time next month, uh, yeah, football season will be officially over. But then you know what's coming? Um, Easter X- Easter parades. The XFL. Yes, Vince McMahon's one hundred million dollar pro football experiment begins in February. The XFL on whatever network they can find to carry it. Um, I thought things that were rated X were not available on public. Sorry, it's time. like you know, this is the yeah. second time he's had the XFL. It failed miserably about ten years. Years ago, and so he's going to try and, uh, of course, like hey, stock dollars are going to be ticking away their money watching this. Anyway, I am anyway. just so happy because, like I say, there's no fill, no, I mean, no New England Patriots in the Super Bowl, and is that it? is something that has not happened in years. And that's good, right? That's wonderful. Oh, that okay. is absolutely wonderful because for those of you who hate that pasty face punk Tom Brady, this is just making you gleeful. It's sort of wet in your underwear, man. All right, so <laughs> that was descriptive. Here, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> what do you got? It is, it is the new year, and I have not learned my lesson. What's the first lesson Dan tells me when I'm looking at such and such sites? Don't click on anything. Yeah, don't click. No, no clickbait. Don't click on it. Don't, don't, don't. You'll get that, uh, that. Uh, uh, <laughs> President Obama is uh, locking your computer <laughs> notification, and uh, and we got pictures of you looking at porn. <laughs> and if you send us eight hundred dollars, <laughs> we'll make All sure right. we send it to your friends, or or not. We're not sure. <laughs> We're All not right. sure which one would do more damage. <laughs> Here we are at the beginning of the year. Yep. All right. First thought. Let's just go back to the last quarter of 2019 mm-hmm. it all starts the day after halloween what i'm talking about is that six weeks actually six to eight weeks where human gluttony knows no bounds oh yeah I mean- <laughs> start eating november 1st it's like and you were still eating december 31st mm-hmm we eat and eat and eat, and we are encouraged to do so by the media. It's like all the beautiful pictures that you see in the commercials of the family sitting around the table with that 19-course dinner sitting there and all the pies and cakes and cookies. And then what happens um, on January 1? You decide you are so large that you're barely able to get up out of bed and through the front door. You and between, decide. Yeah. And After- the 31st of January, you are going to be so bombarded with diet plans, yes. exercise clubs. Oh, yeah. Yes, and it's the latest thing that you could, you want to look good this summer. You know you got to start now. Okay, so I'm going to put down these seven boxes of Twinkies <laughs> and this huge wheelbarrow of ho ho <laughs> And then on top of everything else, you know what's coming up. Girl yes. Scout cookie time. <laughs> yes, but first we have to get through Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the media is 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 talking out of both sides of the face. Yes, it's like, oh, we want you to be healthy, but you know you have to eat to enjoy your family and friends, and just that's a, it's just a big part of the unity. Yeah, of eating. It's like we are united by eating. Well, it, it's funny because uh, <clears throat> we do that at work. We have uh, on a regular basis. We'll do potlucks. I mean, and they're <laughs> it's it's ridiculous because. The enormity of food that shows up is yeah, is, but that's because you, even you, you mm. cook like you're cooking for an army, man. Yeah, I do. I, I cook for like 37 people. It's, it's yeah, pretty, it's pretty provocative. But um, so but we have this poor woman. She works in our uh, uh, our our gym, our local gym. She's a <laughs> she works out. She tries to motivate people, and she's got like a hey, let's do this. You know, October 31st, let's do a weigh in. And let's try to keep 100% body fat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. Um, so they try to keep everybody lean. And, and basically you weigh in. And then by the end of the year, you weigh back in. 
and hopefully you're exactly the same you were or less. <laughs> and so, how often does that work? Out? I don't think <laughs> I haven't heard the results yet, but <laughs> I'll, I'll say this: I I've been I've been consistent. I have not gained weight this year. Actually, I think I've lost a couple, couple pounds because, first off, we didn't do the big, huge, humongo Thanksgiving. We oh, had- that's right. Because when you're when you're in your marital state, it's like, yeah, you don't have very many. <laughs> well, I mean, no, but you know, uh, we we did all the fixings. We did the turkey. We had the dressing. We did the mashed potatoes, the gravy. Come on, stop lying, Dan. Come what? On. No, we did everything, but I didn't gorge uh, out. Peanut butter and jelly and cornflakes. <laughs> all that food is like who the hell feels like eating <laughs> if you put it if you put the grape jam on top of the cornflakes on the peanut butter oh it's just so good anyway um but <laughs> no, no, no no so so uh i have heard stories where and i've seen where people have taken two <clears throat> two plates of food <laughs> And sat down and consumed two plates of food and then go back and get another plate of food. Uh, Don't forget dessert. (laughs) (laughs) Don't forget for dessert. (laughs) Were you going to eat that pie? (laughs) You know, that's why, and that is another reason why I'm so glad that my family is extremely small and that they're not Mm -hmm. in that hallmark moment and that, that, you know, that Courier and Ives card look. I mean, no, man, I, I... I did that. I did that, you know, just like you did. I did that for years and it's like, and it's really so fake and phony. And it's like, oh man, you just got to put up with people that you don't care about Mm -hmm. uh, all because it's, it's a family thing. Well, you know, uh, sometimes, mm, sometimes maybe we should just do it out of family. (laughs) Just hang with people you like, but just hang with people that you like that you have things in common with. And, and you know, again, and that way you don't have, you know, a, a drunken Uncle Eddie coming, falling down, tearing down the stairs every year, getting into fights with everybody because, oh, you think you're better than me, bro? I tell you. Man, I, I don't need that noise. Yeah. Agreed. All right. So Agreed. I brought this up, though. This all became about because, like I said, on January 1st, like a light switch, all of a sudden you were not good enough anymore. Mm-hmm. Take off those 67 pounds you gained over the past three weeks. <laughs> your your body image is just getting ready to get assassinated, man, because you're going to be fat shamed and body shamed and every kind of shame possible. Yeah. New diet but, plans. New diet plans. What I learned years ago mm-hmm. after going through that dieting thing. Yeah. It's like, and I put this, I put, I put great thought into this, Dan. Mm-hmm. I, I'm telling you. When it's all said and done and I go to meet my earthly rewards, I doubt very seriously if my diet is going to be at the top of the list of things that the master's going to want to talk to me about. <laughs> I mean, it'll know, be, I, it'll I, be pretty I, close, I, but <laughs> I think there are some, there are some other things that I may have to clean up the record on, but I don't think the diet's going to be one of them. Well, so, you know, and I find that people, you know, it's like if you are dieting and if you can do it. Hey, God love you. Cause like I say, I'm, I'm sorry. I got a mouth and it's like, I'm going to eat. Yeah. That's all there is to it. And see, and that's why I'm glad I don't live near Dan because Dan cooks mm-hmm. and I, Dan cooks rich and Dan cooks fatty and Dan cooks. I, I create comfort food. Yes. Like, right. Exactly. And my comfort goes right to my ass. Well, so, well, it's, it's, it's funny you mentioned that because remember, we do have someone who's here to help. Hey there, Carmine DeGuzio here. How you doing? Hey, listen, you know, the summer months are coming upon us, and uh, I gotta be quite frankly with you, uh, you ain't looking so nice right now. You've been uh, eating those cheeseburgers, drinking down those <laughs> Diet Cokes, <laughs> not. Quite frankly, you're fat. Now, if you try to squeeze into that uh, swimming suit of yours, it's going to look a, lot, uh, a little disgusting if you know what I'm talking about. People are going to see bulges they ain't seen since uh, uh, the last time you tried to stuff yourself into a Santa Claus outfit. Yeah, that was disgusting. But the great news is Carmine guzio has got this great new package for you. Yeah, it's the Carmine DeGuzio Home Liposuction System. Oh, this is great. In your package, you're going to find all sorts of great things for you. You're going to find a syringe, 
a nine-foot length of one-quarter-inch hose, mostly clean, a bag of sterile gauze, some rum and alcohol, a topical spray, a bottle of tequila, and an instruction manual. Also available to our first 50 callers, a DVD where you can watch step-by-step on the instructions on how to remove all that disgusting fat. It's easy. It'll take you step by step, but it's as easy as drinking down the bottle of tequila, making a small incision in the tummy there, taking the hose attachment and plug it into the back of your vacuum cleaner and let it go. Sit, relax, watch TV as all that fat goes into your hoover. When you're done, you'll find a little sewing kit coming in with your package there. Just sew up the hole. Wazam, you're all done. Now, all that fat you pulled off is probably not fit for human consumption, so you might want to pour that down the drain or something. Definitely don't give it to the dog. So if you're looking a little pudgy around the edges there, order the Carmine Deguzio Liposuction Home System there. Why spend thousands of dollars? Only $49.95. Order it today. The Carmine Deguzio Liposuction System is not available for children under the age of 14. All users must sign a waiver prior to purchase. The Carmine Deguzio Liposuction Company is not a medical company and is not responsible for any medical conditions that may arise from the use of the Carmine Deguzio Liposuction System. Please be advised that access to death may occur utilizing the Carmine Deguzio Liposuction System. If excessive bleeding occurs for more than four hours, please seek medical attention. The Carmine Deguzio Liposuction System cannot be sent to New Jersey, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Maine, Nebraska, California, Washington State, Oregon, and three cities in Ohio. So if you're looking to get hot, hot, hot for the summer, go ahead and order the Carmine Deguzio Use your liposuction system today. What a scumhead. <laughs> what an industrious young man. Yes, yes. Uh, that's a classic from way back when. I thought, I thought since we were on the subject and I saw it there, I go, hey, I got to hit the play button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, all right. So I brought all that up because, yes. like I say, January 1st, like a light switch, none of us was any good anymore. We were worthless. We were trashy. We were you know, week, uh, you and know, right. yeah. and they do it every year, every year. So like I said, uh, and between now and the 31st of January, you're going to see every diet plan, every gym thing, that that that. don't fall apart. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, look, 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 if you are just determined that you just want to waste that, whatever they're charging a month for gym fees, listen, send it to us, send it to us. <laughs> Post office box, and I forgot which address it was. 9022, Fredericksburg, Virginia, 22403. Again, and we will put it to good use, ladies Mm -hmm. and gentlemen. And as a matter of fact, you will enjoy the result of your donation all year long because we'll be here every week, unlike the gym membership. (laughs) And we'll we'll get get JD some new car parts, and uh, it'll be even funnier. (laughs) And it'll be even funnier. (laughs) All right. Now, the, the, the next thing. Yes. Okay, besides besides the dieting thing, which is painful enough, you know what else happens every year at this very same time of year? What up that? Well, okay, today is the first Sunday after New Year's. Okay. It is the busiest day of the year for online dating. Oh, my. I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, it's like I'm going to, hey, I'm (laughs) Or why? (laughs) I'm glad you asked because I made the error, the great error of digging deeper into a story that I saw on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> boy, I, I'm so disappointed in myself because I know better. I know better than this. And I did it anyway. I clicked a link. Oh, for the love of God. All right. So, and uh, all right. So I clicked one link and I put in just, just, the zip code and uh, your and your telephone started blowing up <laughs> wait a minute, that started that was on <clears throat> tuesday yeah new year's eve yeah since new year's eve i have received to date 35 notifications from zeus which is a dating service i mean here's like six zeus messages right off the bat all right, let's see here. Is that Z double O S K? Yes. <clears throat> All right, so we'll avoid okay. that one. All right, and then it's like, wait a minute, let's see here. Uh, promotions. Okay. I, I. Oh God. All right, let's see here. This is why you organize these things early on before you start your radio program, boys and girls. So you. Have it all lined up here. <clears throat> Makes it a little more entertaining for the listener. <laughs> hey, now wait a minute, because there's this site called Plenty of Fish. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Now, listen, plenty of fish. <laughs> Zeus, online dating. Like I say, you take a look at one site, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, I've got, oh, wait a minute. There's dating for seniors, mm-hmm. dating for Asians, mm-hmm. black dating. Mm-hmm. These are all things that are in my mailbox. Wait, 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 wait. How do you get to your mailbox if you only put in your zip code? Because I am betting dollars to donuts. And when I went to that site, you know what they've got. Your cookies. cookies. Yep. <clears throat> they have everything on you now. Yep. And so, like I say, so now every morning I've gone into my mailbox, I go through and just go start deleting all these messages. How many, look- how many black Asian seniors are you dating now? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the way the letters come in. Now, you've heard of uh, Match.com. I also get mail from them. Oh, all right. So here's, all right, here we go. Uh, one message. Force, welcome to Zeus. Here are some quick tips to get started. Blah, blah, blah. Build a uh, platform. Build build a background. Uh, show people what you look like. Uh, two days later, mm-hmm. Zeus sends me your top 10 orange singles. Oh, my gosh. All right, so I I looked. Do you know how many of those women were from Orange? Zero. None. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the nearest one was like 75 miles away. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Here When's she go. coming over? All right, so the <laughs> next day, I get this from Zeus. 27 new singles we think you'll like. <laughs> and then they go, DJ A25, 55 years old, from Washington. <laughs> That's nearby. <laughs> All right. This morning, I got Sweet P sent you a message. <laughs> Gosh, I <laughs> I get I. You know, it's funny. You, I, I I rarely spend a whole lot of time on Facebook, <laughs> and every once in a while, I'll I'll receive an email from Facebook saying, "Hey, here's someone you should you should have as a Facebook friend." And I'm like, I click on go, I have no idea who this person is. I don't know why I should be clicking here, but I'm not going to click. And, 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 and mind you, it's always female. Yeah. It's always female. Never, never have I gotten like, oh, here's a dude, you know, here's, here's a request for it. Nope. They always, and I'm, I'm sure they do this for women. They're, they're flipping it back and going, here's some guys that might want to be part of your profile. I'm like. <laughs> really? No. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's uh, it's it's a game. It's a and game. Guess what? guess what? They, I think, I think that they finally gave up on me at Publishers Clear <laughs> <laughs> after a hundred emails Are you- telling me how urgent this was that I respond to this. I think they finally gave up. <laughs> so, you, so Ed McMahon's not coming to visit. <laughs> No, no, not Ed McMahon or that other guy in the funny little van. It's like, uh, uh, I, mean, I am deleting all these publishers clearinghouse. You know, I mean, yes, so, but you might be a winner right now. I sure might. Boy, I'll tell you, it's like, I can't wait to go collect that check. <laughs> hey, we'll Good be right day. back, everybody. Bye. Thank goodness for this break. Sadly, however, we will return to the Slade and Mason Show. Today in history, January 5th, 1846. The United States House of Representatives votes to stop sharing the Oregon Territory with the United Kingdom, stating, hey, this is ours, go away. 1914, the Ford Motor Company announces the eight-hour workday with a minimum wage of $5 a day in labor. Hey, someone get a raise? 1940, FM radio is demonstrated to the Federal Communications for the very first time. And oddly enough, the next day, Howard Stern gets his first fine. 1972. Richard Nixon orders the development of a space shuttle program, but oddly enough, he never gets a chance to ride it. And finally, 
2005, Eris, the largest known dwarf planet in the solar system, is discovered using images originally taken October 21st, 2003. Technically much larger than Pluto, sadly Eris is uh, set off as a what's called dwarf planet, along with Pluto, Ceres, Homea, and Mankamek. Personally, I think it's a conspiracy. They'll do anything to keep Pluto from becoming a planet again. I think it has a lot to do with Disney copyrights. I'm Dan Mason, and that's January 5th. Andy Rooney shares his thoughts for the new year. Well, here we are again. We've hit a new year, and of course, with a new year comes a new list of New Year's resolutions. We all have them, we all say we're going to do them, and by the time December 31st comes around the next year, we kind of wonder what happened. Well, for one, you don't need to worry about it too much, because most people, like myself, make the first few days through the New Year's resolution, and then we peter out. It's not that we don't care, it's just that we're lazy. Now here's a list of the top 10, starting with number 10. Read more. Now as those of you who know me, I'm a voracious reader. So to read more is just a complete waste of my time, unless you're willing to print War and Peace on the toilet paper. And number 9 is a complete waste of my time as well, traveling more. I like my office. I like getting up in the morning. I like walking here, taking off my shoes. They're not expensive shoes, as you can see. My socks are thread thin. I don't want to say I'm cheap, but I've had these shoes for 22 years, and I'll keep them for another 22, God willing. Number eight is spend more time with friends and family. If you've ever met my family, you'd understand why number eight's not going to be on my list. At all. Number seven is quit smoking. I never took up the habit, never plan on doing it. We'll just strike that off my list. We can call that mission accomplished. Number six is save more money. Spend less money. I don't have a lot of money. How am I supposed to spend less of what I don't already have? That seems like a complete waste of my time. Not going to do that one. Number five, live life to the fullest. Look, I was a reporter in the trenches when you were still putting diapers on yourself. Or maybe you didn't have the diapers put on yourself. Maybe someone put the diapers on you. Anyway, I've lived my good life. Now it's your turn. I'm an old man. We'll call number five been there, done that. Number four, learn a new skill or hobby. Did I just mention I'm an old man? I'm not going to learn something new. Not now. Not tomorrow. Not last year. Not this year. My wife still yells at me for not putting the toilet paper on the roller. Number three, get organized. Okay, take a look at my desk. Yeah, that one's not going to happen either. Number two in the list shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone here. That's the chance for you all to lose weight. I lose weight all the time. And it finds me again about two weeks later. So that's not going to happen. Number one, exercise more. Look. I get up in the morning, I put my shoes on, I head out the door, I head over to the office. That's plenty of exercise for me. Now, if you're looking for something different, or if you're looking for a New Year's resolution, like be a better person, or start a new religion, no, I think for me, I'm going to find a way to lose weight. I know a quick way to lose 15 pounds. First, I'm going to start by taking off my tweed jacket. And then I'll put on my light blue plaid jacket. Job done. That was Andy Rooney. We'll see you next week.
I couldn't just do it at Now we must return you to the Slade and Mason show. Now, now what song is that we're going to get dinged on? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hi, Brady Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And, and this, this is the Slade and Mason, Mason show. Okay, that was the Bird Waltz by Peter Schrenick. <laughs> Schrenick. Um, uh, I, I double dutch dare uh, uh, YouTube to <laughs> <laughs> nail us on that one because today is National Bird Day, and that's the reason we played that today. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty lame-o song, and if anybody wants credit for that, have <laughs> at it. Here's your nickel. <laughs> I love the uh, love the Andy Rooney bit. Yeah, Andy Rooney was fun. I like Andy. He's good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, uh, kind of important. This one. Conjunction, junction. What's oh, their function? I got hand button or They'll get you pretty far. You, yeah. You heard about I'm Jack Sheldon? Justin just a bill, and I'm sitting on Capitol Hill. That's Jack Sheldon, the uh, jazz musician. Yeah. He just died, 88 years old. Oh, that's... Well, that, that wasn't what I was thinking because it's like they also celebrated the, uh, I think it was uh, 1969, hmm. at, uh, Conjunction Junction, Schoolhouse Rock. Yes. Actually hit the airwaves. Yes, yes. Uh, so, yeah. Or, hey, I hanker for a hunk of, oh, or a bunch of, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. Anyway, so uh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined my childhood, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, he died on the second. Um, so sad. 88 years old. Uh, he was also the um, music director for the Merv Griffin show. Oh, did yes. Uh, do you remember Merv Griffin's famous British partner? No. Sir Arthur Treacher. The, the fish and chips guy. Yeah, well, no, not that. Well, no, it, it, yeah, no, 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 but yeah, his it was Sir Arthur Treacher uh, who was his partner. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. When you say partner, you're talking partner. He was, he was. Oh, he oh, was, oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> he was Merv's. Uh, um, uh, Ed McMahon. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are. <laughs> oh, Johnny Sowers. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so that, yeah, National Bird Day, uh, Andy Rooney, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Lots of fun stuff on the break. Um, let me ask you something, man. Sure. It's like, you know, I, I guess this is just a sign of my getting old, but you know, is it my imagination or more of my heroes just sort of checking out? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it's, uh, Yeah. <laughs> 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 all of the above uh yeah so um yeah I mean, i'm looking here it's like you know I, i'm looking and and uh, uh uh um rod stewart is going to be 75 on friday <laughs> if he makes it <laughs> if he makes it keith richards is oh. like 79 <laughs> no it can't be it can't <laughs> just scares me half to death I, no it's like he can't believe it either <laughs> imagine they're in their 90s uh, he's just like going angie yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> go ahead I was, I was i was thinking I, of something I evil a video that i i can't i saw a video this week that i cannot unsee it is the video and i'll tell you what i'm going to give you a chance to take a look at it just mm. you only have to glance at it it is mick jagger and david bowie doing dancing in the street. Go look that up while I entertain our audience here for a second. Cause you're going to, you just got, you'll hear, you'll know when he finally finds it, ladies and gentlemen, because the laughter will just, it'll let you know. 
Okay. So, all right. So, again, I talked about dating and I talked about, you know, again, all the things. Do you bother to make resolutions? No. No. no Never have. No. And, 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 and there's a reason for it because, number one, chances are you're going to break that resolution not months from now, but probably within the first 24 hours. Well, that's what, that's what, uh, that's what Andy Rudy said. Yeah. It's, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So it's like, instead of lying to yourself and lying to everybody else. So then later on, you got to sit there and do the walk of shame because you failed once again to keep a promise to no one, but yourself. <laughs> Stop it. Just what are these guys do doing? This is very embarrassing. Oh, and, oh, he's found it, ladies Mick and gentlemen. Jagger, so, yeah. I, and without sound, oh, it's even more repugnantly uh, it's, ridiculous. It's, more repugnant. it's like, I, and it's it's really, really weird if you listen to it and watch it. No, I, I put mean, the it, pause on. I'm not even, I, I get the sound all the way down, of course. <clears throat> it is really, I mean, is that not the weirdest thing that you, like, seen from somebody who's, from two people who are supposed to be rock gods? Yeah, well, there you go. Yep. Um, so yeah, how old, how old is Mick and I'm not calling him out because it's like there was there were rumors for years that David Bowie and Mick Jagger had a little tete a tete. Yeah, Mick Jagger is 70, 76 years old. Paul McCartney is seventy seven years old. Keith Richard is seventy six years old. I mean, they are getting up with the air is rare. Uh, 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 All gone rare, man. I mean, it's like, you know, asphyxiation city. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I don't get it. Um, you know, you got, you got to get to a certain point where you say to yourself, yeah, you know what? This was, was fun. Good but fun. We had a lot of fun, but now it's, and I have said this, see, I was unfortunate because I was in Philadelphia. Yeah. When the Rolling Stones announced, you know, that last tour. Which time? Uh, the first one. The, <laughs> oh, first the very one. first back one. In 80, back in 81. Yeah. Yep. Okay, the first one. And every two years, we have been treated to Mick Jagger coming out with the last tour that the Stones are going to do. And, and now it's getting obscene because he was in Charlottesville last year. Was he? I and that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Look. I, I don't. I don't even want to see. I don't even want to see a young lady with uh, spandex on. I certainly do not want to see a seventy-six-year-old man with bright yellow, canary yellow spandex parading and prancing across the stage like he can dance, which he cannot. And he even had lessons from one of the greatest dancers in pop music, and still didn't learn a doggone thing. Mm. Tina Turner tried to teach him to dance. That's not good. That's, not, That's good. not good at all. But the thing of it is, is that uh, the one thing that you always heard when when I was a musician and I was trying to call myself trying to make a living at it. Uh, listen, the uglier you are, the more women you'll get, mm -hmm. the less rhythm you got, mm -hmm. the more dancers you'll find. <laughs> and that is just the way it is. I happen to have rhythm and I happen to be able to call the tune with a shovel. So it's like, that's why I'm not a success. Oh, my gosh. He is. uh I'm just looking at some of the pictures here. He is, um, and he's such a little guy. He's got. He's. It looks like. It looks like. It looks like someone took a took a, a leather bag. And <laughs> you remember, wait a minute. Do you remember the scene? Uh, the Wizard of Oz with the 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 straw man. <laughs> remember, <laughs> he's got that I'm, like. He's got like a burlap. Never seen the Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah. Well, go go look at the. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> He looks like he looks like he could play the part without the makeup. <laughs> yeah, just just wear this this straw outfit. Uh huh. What about the face? No, nah, you're good. You're good. You got that leather bag look. You're good. You could you could scare buzzards off of houses. Okay, you're good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, my boy. I mean. He has never been anybody's pretty baby. No, nope. <laughs> boy. I mean, and age is not doing him <laughs> many favors. <laughs> oh my gosh! Let's see, Mick Jagger as the straw man <laughs> in the Wizard of. You know, of it's like for a long time, I thought that uh, he and the, the dude that was the lead singer for Aerosmith might have been 
brothers, mother, mothers. Yeah. They got those big, ugly lips, and, and neither one of them can really sing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He, <laughs> it's just, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Let me see. Yeah, go, go. I want you to, I want you to, I want you to Google. I want you to Google straw man in the wizard of Oz. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait while you look up Ray Bolger. <laughs> we'll do this live ladies and gentlemen. And you tell me, you take a look. <laughs> Let me know when you get there. <laughs> okay. I think he's there. <laughs> So I think I I think Mick is ready for the roll. <laughs> I I I think I think I think JD needs to get a new pair of underpants on. <laughs> I believe he soiled himself. <laughs> and I don't think he understands it. Whew. So <laughs> <laughs> did i nail it i, I mean picture on my screen. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> all right so that's the mental image um anyway i wanted to talk <laughs> oh my gosh Whew. okay so yeah. All right. Um, so, hi, JD. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> and there's a dance sequence you can look up, too. It'll be right up there. Um, in any event, whoo, now you know I'm the king of cheap. Oh, oh yeah, and I am your loyal subject. <laughs> <laughs> Bow down, oh, <laughs> little, little man. <laughs> Oh, hell. Oh, I um, get this picture off my screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Whew. Well, that made his day. Um, you better you better say something about I see something I see before we run out of time. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Thank you for me. Ooh, let me. Let me find my card. Oh, Man, my we just rolled out. All right. So this portion of the Slade and Mason show is brought to you by I see something I see. I see something I see. Shaved treats, ice treats, um, great for birthday parties, corporate events, fundraisers, lots of fun things. Um, they're available at I-C-E-Y, S-O-M-E-T-H-I-N, I-C-E-Y.com. Um, or you can give Sheila a call at 804-617-8827. Now, I know it's chilly outside. Uh, I I went, took the dog for a walk this morning and it was a wind chill of like 36. So, yeah, probably you're not going to want to have the treats today, but, you know, Summer's coming, spring's coming, it's going to get warm. I mean, look at Australia. They could use some of these treats as well. So, uh, yeah, I would give them a call, 804-617-8827. Schedule this ahead of time. They'll come out with their truck. They'll it, The treats are really delicious. It, it, it's um, She uses a special machine, special ice. It, it's almost like cream when it comes out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I see something, I see treats, shaved ice and treats and more. Uh, 804-617-8827. Um, and it's a, it's a good deal. But speaking of, speaking of, all right. So again, I'm cheap. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, really cheap. So when, I don't know if you, if you ever purchased like prosciutto or capicol or. Uh -oh. For Wait a minute. Maria. Prosciutto, is that what? cheese? Judo? No. No, you said prosciutto. Pro prosciutto. Prosciutto. No, no, sorry. Prosciutto. Um, cultural differences. Uh, prosciutto, capicol, uh, capicol. Cheese. You've had cheese. cheese. Okay, gotcha. No, you've had capicol. Uh, yeah. Sometime. When you, yeah, when you're up in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and you have like a an Italian sub. Oh yes, that's right. That's right. Capicol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. All those, all those cured meats. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. 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 So I'm curing meat right now. What I've done <clears throat> is I got like a two pound block of pork butt or shoulder, whatever you want to call it. And I trimmed no, off. There's a difference between the butt and the shoulder, man. <laughs> I, I guarantee you. There's a whole lot of difference. I understand. But why they call it the same, I don't know. Anyway, so it's a two pound chunk of, of pork. And I cut off most of the fat. And then I did the 3% the cure, if everybody knows what that's all about. 
with salt and pepper. And it's sitting in my fridge. Tuesday, I'm going to wrap it up in cheesecloth and then uh, string it up and, and hang it in my refrigerator until it loses 35% moisture. And then slice and eat it. I'll come visit you in the hospital. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for like a botulism issue. But here's because, the, here's the because, dealio. Remember, this is the same guy who just told me that there's no difference between the shoulder and the butt. <laughs> there's no <laughs> <laughs> Culinarily speaking, but and I guarantee you that there is a lot of difference. <laughs> but here's the deal: it's like it's like six dollars for like three ounces of the stuff, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, I can make this in like I don't know two or three weeks. And how much does tomain cost? Tomain poisoning is priceless. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I was look while I was looking at I, again. I could I I couldn't turn away. It's like I my eyes just could not turn away. I kept going back to looking at the, the scarecrow <laughs> and thinking Mick Jagger. <laughs> but no, <laughs> Larry, <laughs> dance the night away. Oh man, someone so should so, take. They went to it. They they after the the uh, scarecrow picture. It's like you know. Again, I was looking for something else, and they had this picture of this young lady. She looks like she's in meditation, and it's an ad for YMCA Richmond. Okay. The picture is so crisp. It is so clean mm -hmm. that you can actually see shoulder hair. <laughs> shoulder I mean, hair. I mean, seriously, the shoulder. You can see the shoulder hair. Uh, being reflected from the sun and it's like uh yeah she's a very hairy lady Ew. <laughs> <laughs> that's gross man hey listen you come to this show you take your chances <laughs> <laughs> we told you not that we told you we warned you before we started oh, oh man hey i wanted to i wanted to ask you uh, you obviously you're the uh victim of hiccuping i don't know why but on the air have you ever have you ever sneezed on the air? No. No, I have not. Has, has it ever come close? Nope. Never. Never. Like, hiccups is another story, but sneezing? No. No? I have, nope. You just hit the mute button if you had to? Nope. I just have never had it come up. It's wow. like uh, I either sneezed before or after I closed the mic. Hmm. Okay. So, I mean, before I opened the mic or before after I closed the mic. Oh, okay. All right. So it is, it, 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 but it's still in the studio. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. okay. All right. But you've never okay. All right. She's, well, she really is fuzzy. <laughs> Gosh. How do we get back on that one? Hey, I, have you noticed? I, I think I talked about this. Walmart prices are going up. Of Walmart. course they are. Listen, listen. And, and, you you people who just thought that Sam Walton just had all your 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 benefit at heart. Uh -huh. No. He did not. He was a capitalist. He was a, it, the object of Walmart is to make money. Yep. And you remember when Walmart first became really big, it was, everything was made in America. Yep. yep. Find it now. Man, Find it now. It's hard. It's hard. What I noticed was, <clears throat> first, off, first off, a couple of things are happening. I'm noticing Walmart is having supply issues. Like things are running out when you go there. That's weird. Like regular things like milk and eggs and bread and butter. <clears throat> they're running out. Um, so the other thing, and, and this is something, this goes back to like the mid 1970s. You remember when, uh, I guess it was Maxwell house made the, the, the one pound can of coffee, 12 ounces. And they said they cut the beans a certain way. So you didn't need as much. You can only use four scoops instead of five. Do you remember this at all? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember <laughs> all that crap. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, as you know, packages used to be like a one pound pack of hot dog rolls, right? Yep, and now it's a twelve ounce pack of hot dog rolls. Where the other four ounces go? The twelve ounce uh, uh, Guinness is now eleven point two ounces. Nobody noticed that one. <clears throat> Where the extra three four beers of that case? Only you alcoholics would notice that. <laughs> I just noticed on the Walmart rolls, they're no longer twelve ounces. They're now eleven ounces. Pretty See, soon, it's going to be a little bit off, and it's like, and you can make, you know, again, that means for every 11 packs, you actually get right. another pack. I know. It's like, hey, that's a 10% increase. 
ass. And as a result, you're going to pay the same. So yeah. that's a 10% increase. Yeah. So uh, Walmart is uh, is stroking people. You know, pretty soon you're just going to get like a bag of foam and a plastic. <laughs> <sticker>. <laughs> hey, these are low, low oxygen uh, uh, calorie uh, hamburger rolls here. You just kind of you open it up and you pretend to toast it. You just spray on the toasting and you. <sighs> yeah it's it's getting it's getting to that point it's getting it's getting very annoying so i don't know well, you know i mean it's uh, unfortunate but you're right they're making money yes you know and that's that's exactly where it is and you know there's nothing you can do about that so not not to promote them but i am i am now shifting gears over to uh Lidl, i guess it's pronounced Sounds oh, like idea. I like that. Yeah. 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 Cause they have a lot of the same things and prices are better now, right now, right this right week. Now. Yeah. That's, Today. So you, know, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, it's just like everything else, man. Uh, food lines come in. It's like they mm -hmm. come in. It's like, an, Oh yeah. We'll offer you the most lowest prices until we eliminate your competition and then watch the prices rise. That's right. Walmart has done basically the same thing. That's right, baby. That's because they can, they will, and they have. Yeah, and unfortunately, we give them when they when they decide they're going to come into a locality, we give them everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. So we just uh, think yeah. it's funny. Oh wow! Oh man, are you kidding? We Already? killed another Dude. hour, man. Hey, okay. Well, gee, thanks for ending it on such a great happy note, you brick. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> hey, so. Uh, don't forget, gang, Valentine's Day is only two months away, so <laughs> make sure you get out there and get your stuff. Amazing gear now. Yeah. Uh, OLFW.com. That's right. It's OLFW.com. You can get all of our merch there. There's even, like, uh, stuff there. Please buy our merch. Please buy our merch. Uh, yeah, please buy our merch. I'll buy let you know how the cured meat goes. Buy a shirt. Buy a shirt. Please buy two shirts. <laughs> We need your support. Please buy our, buy our hoodies. <laughs> you know, but I did notice the one thing about the hoodie. What's you that? don't have to worry about being a criminal in that because it's really thin so everybody can see your face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all we got? Uh, you no, know, you're supposed to say one more thing to me. Oh, one more thing. Uh, credit scores. <laughs> No, I, I'm, ra I'm ranging, the, it, depending upon the company you contact, I'm either at 580 or 770. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, go with the 770, man. You get lots of loans that way. Yeah, but they, it's it's whoever, they get the 580. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, you can use every credit reporting source except Equifax. Yeah, because they, they don't work. They they just share your information with the uh, criminals from Russia. All right. Say goodbye, Mr. Slade. That's what I've been waiting for. Goodbye, Mr. Slade. And I don't, know, I don't know. Is it over? I don't know. Are we done? That's the closest we ever got to a full hour. <laughs> it looks like 58 and something. Yeah, we got an hour and 30 seconds. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye, Ted. All right. All right. Bye, Ted. Yeah, it's like, hey, listen, I did want to. You remember, you know, uh, that, that, that lady I used to know who used to cook all the time? Okay. Yeah. Uh, she just posted something. It said... Sometimes life bites you in the butt. <laughs> Thankfully, I have enough padding there to take the hit. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. See you all next week.